friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. Today I wanted to do a AM and PM planning video with you guys. I have started a new job and I have really been trying to implement kind of a time blocking schedule for the morning and for an evening routine because I have a lot of things that <clears throat> I want to accomplish outside of work that I need to make sure I'm prioritizing my time correctly to make sure that I have a work-life balance if that's even possible especially when our energy is just you know kind of drained after you come back home from work it's just usually how it goes so I have noticed that the AM routine that I have right now and the PM routine were functioning for a while, but there are certain things, certain, I guess, um, I guess areas that I didn't realize weren't working well until I finally started working um, consistently at my current location. So I'm going to revisit my AM and PM routine and kind of talk through um, what that looks like for me. But let me turn you guys around and show you how my AM and PM routine have helped me. And then once we're writing down my AM and PM routine, then we'll talk about the things that um, aren't working as well. All right, so honestly, my living room is pretty clean. Um, besides, you know, a bottle cap, a water bottle cap on my counter and some blankets that aren't folded. But technically the goal is for my PM routine to have all my work prep done. So I want to make sure that my work bag is set I have everything I need in my work bag for the next day. So in the morning, I'm not scrambling around my house trying to find where's my binder, where's my keys, where's my work keys, where's, you know, all these things I have set in that bag, which I have not done yet because I'm like a hot mess today. So that is the goal, but it has worked. So that has worked and I'm going to keep that. But overall, my routine seems to be well. The whole point of my routine is to make life simpler for me and to meet the goals that I want to reach, right? Everyone's going to have different goals. My goal is when I come home from work, I want to make sure that my house is clean, as clean as possible. So I don't have to come excuse me, come home, be overwhelmed, and just really feel, like, down on myself, like, um, just get really, like, low self-esteem. When I have a dirty house, um, typically it means something's wrong um, with my mental health, so when things are tidy, um, it's a good sign for me and my mental health, so I have to remind myself, I want to promote healthy mental health for myself, and I know I need, I need to take steps to make it happen for myself, so, for the most part, living room pretty clean, bedrooms pretty clean, and then here's my kitchen, which has always been in my dining room, um, an area that might be of concern, but I have the things that I want to work in, work on pretty um, organized here on my kitchen, on my dining table, so I have the things I read on a daily basis, so I have it kind of categorized now that I'm looking at it, I have um, my books, I like to read, I have my journals, and then I have my prayers and things I like to do at, like daily. So this is not necessarily daily. The concentration, um, consecration is, but I haven't started it, but the book underneath I have uh, read in between. But anyways, things I'm doing daily, my journal, and then books, and then that's the worksheet we'll work on. So for the most part, pretty organized for myself over here. And then in that bag, the goal is, as I mentioned, have all work things done the night before. So in that bag, I plan to get all my uh, like meal prep in there, put it in the fridge, take it out early in the morning, have that all done. So that's the goal. But anyways, so, so far my PM routine has been working pretty well because um, there's a very minimal uh dishes in the sink there's not a big pile of the of dishes i need to put away so that's pretty good i would like to keep this even less but honestly right here it's like perfect it's not that big a deal i did just get that bag of chips out when i came home i just opened the, or got that bag of chips and 
ate some chips, but for the most part, counter is clean. So my kitchen, honestly, I think this is a pretty good signal that my uh, AM routine is working, but it's my PM routine that I need to work on, which my AM routine helps make this possible. My PM routine helps my AM situation possible and right now I feel that I'm lacking in my AM routine and that's because the stuff I need to be doing right now it's just not happening um in such a way that benefits me in the morning so that's what we're going to review right now we're going to go to my office I'm going to review what my AM and PM routine looks like right now and the areas that I know I need to fix all right friends so we are going over just my daily routines I got this pdf it's free off of um Appleify. So if you're interested, it's free. You can download it. It doesn't work necessarily for me because I no longer need this work routine section, but we're going to be transferring this morning routine and this evening routine into a new PDF that I think is just a lot more helpful for my own brain. Um, and I like it a lot more just for the fact of the way it's categorized. And also, once I wrote this, I wasn't coming back to it. So I was just using my memory of what I put down to get my routines accomplished throughout the day. So I think that's um, a thing that has, you know, hindered, I guess, my progress in or success in completing everything in my routines that I should be getting done so I can be successful in the morning and then um, successful in coming home and just it be more of a relaxed, cool down uh, situation rather than, oh my gosh, I need have a hundred things to do, my house is a mess, things like that. But anyways, okay, so we have here our tracker that I'm going to be using and this is for the date of the 4th so I'm not going to start this week I'm going to start next Sunday yes next Sunday through the 10th and then my whole plan is to come back and hold myself accountable to these habits so or these routines. So the goal is that when I come back and kind of let you guys know how everything went, that most of these things were accomplished throughout my week. Um, and then if they're not, then we can go ahead and adjust them. So right now we have some habits for our morning routine. So what that looks like right now, and honestly, it has been pr my morning routine right now is honestly really almost set in stone to be exactly what it needs to be for me to accomplish all the things I need to do. So I have, as I mentioned, a, an um, internal alarm clock and I usually wake up on my own around 345 but I'm putting a little dash because just in case I don't wake up on my own, I have an alarm clock for 3.50. Um, next thing is I would like to have my coffee and my prayers for the day. Extremely important for me. And I would like to do that around 4 or until 4.30. So between the time I wake up probably around 4 till 4.30 um, is when I plan to do my prayers between this time. And then I'm going to be stretching. And it's extremely important for me to stretch um, before I go work out because it is important for just your overall longevity um, when working out and preventing injuries. <laughs> okay, so stretching and also really extremely important if you sit at a desk all day to stretch your lower back. If you walk all day, making sure you're stretching your legs. It's just, honestly, it's really important to maintain mobility, especially as you get older, because my goal 
is yes, I'm lifting a barbell, but my goal is to be able to get off the toilet <laughs> when I'm 75. You know what I mean? Or when I'm 80. So if, you know, God willing, I make it that far in, in my life at age that I'm able to get off the toilet on my own and spend as much time as I can independently living independently and not have to get put into a retirement home <laughs> if that is what my if my children decide to do that if I have children but anyways <laughs> okay so stretching until 5 30 or I guess five o'clock okay and then I have CrossFit At 5.15. Okay. And I know this is probably weird for you, but this is how my brain understands it. So I wake up and then I just think, okay, I got time till 4.30 and I stretch till 5. And then I have to be at CrossFit at 5.15. Um, next is my breakfast. And this seems... To kind of be silly, to be saying, hey, this needs to be a morning habit. But how many times I can count up millions of times where I get so caught up in just the morning things that I just forget to eat my breakfast, the most important thing. And hydrate and drink water. Wake up, take a shower. You start getting ready. You start doing all the things that you were probably supposed to do the night before, like getting your bag ready, getting your lunch ready, picking out what to wear, things like that, that you just miss out on breakfast. And before you know it, it's 9 o'clock and you're on your way to work and you decide, hey, I'm going to get something at Starbucks. And you just had coffee before breakfast. You know, that's not breakfast. <laughs> and sometimes that's the best that we can do, but I'm trying to do better. That is just... My goal is to do better, cat. make it a priority, make it a habit. So at 6.30 is when I have my breakfast, and then I should be in the shower no later, not taking a shower, no later than 7 o'clock, because I know how long it takes for me to get ready, so this is extremely important. If I if I take a shower anytime after this, I already know I'm late. I just, just already know it. Don't even forget about it. I already know. After 7 o'clock, if I'm taking a shower after 7 o'clock, the probability of me being um, being late is extremely high. Okay, next is out the door by 8 o'clock. Okay, so I don't really have any afternoon routines per se because I won't be at home. But um, the thing about my job is that it's kind of weird if you, I guess just the culture is weird if you take your break in the break room, your lunch in the break room, they kind of expect, the expectations are for you to actually leave the building and go enjoy your lunch. And it makes it extremely awkward for me because I meal prep. So I think, so I'm just going to reheat my food and where am I going to go? So it has been really strange for me. And it also has been triggering me spending money on lunch because I think, well, I'm already leaving. Well, might as well buy lunch. But now I'm trying to figure out, well, where am I going to go during my lunch? Am I going to drive all the way home and then eat my lunch for 10 minutes and then drive all the way back and spend? my you know energy and gas doing that so it's still up in the air what I'm going to do but as far as habits things that I like to do on my lunch is I would like to do my um, evening prayers I do the liturgy of the hours I try to do my best to keep up with it and um, they have morning evening and night prayers so I, I would like to carry that with me and then also just do a reflection uh, to ground myself and be in a state of gratitude. Because right now, friends, if I'm being completely honest, gratitude is kind of slipping away from me just in the situation I am right now with this job. Um, you know, I just, I have, I'm questioning a lot of things and I'm second guessing a lot of my decisions on this job. And, um, and I just got to think that, you know, I have a job and I should be extremely grateful, especially after being unemployed for, you know, half the year. But honestly, after being unemployed, if you guys missed my previous video, I had been talking about just 
now I see things differently and I think about how I'm spending my time and I'm thinking, is this the best place to be spending my time? You know, it's just, it's just kind of a weird a situation that I'm in. And, you know, am I contributing to anything to the society, to life? It's just, you know, I don't know. It's just, just some internal things that I'm going through. Obviously, if you saw me at my job, you would never think that I was thinking things like this but eternally I'm going through an eternal struggle and I need to reflect and be in a state of gratitude because I am extremely grateful for my job I have a paycheck now so being in a state of gratitude it's going to be really important for me also important to eat my lunch (laughs) and drink my water going to shoot for 16 ounces that's two water bottles (laughs) and then also I want to keep in mind my budget so I want to review my finances so review my budget cat um you know did you spend money today things like that what is triggering you are you in a state of gratitude and if you're not is that triggering you to then not eat your meal prep and then go and buy lunch instead and then looking at my budget things like that (laughs) it's just that's just how the you know that's how it works okay so those are my afternoon habits and then my evening habits um first things first is once i get home i'm changing into pjs And I know that seems like a weird habit to have, but I just want to put myself in a situation where I'm already taking the steps to to relax. And I have seen sometimes I'm just in my work clothes and I'm, you know, but without shoes, I'm running around the house doing things I need to do. And I think I'm like, no cat, change into comfortable clothes. And then I want to put just like a skincare. That way I can be, you know, just relaxing and now doing the things I need to do. So skincare routine, I'm taking off my makeup. And then next is eating my dinner and um, drinking my water. Okay. Um, in the mornings, a drink of water is not that difficult, but it seems to be extremely difficult throughout the day. So that's why I make sure, you know, when you eat, make sure you're drinking the fluids. <laughs> okay. Um, next is to wash dishes. And you guys saw I don't have a lot of dishes. So if there is dishes, wash dishes and put them away. Again, I would like to keep my counters clean and clear. Um, you know, that's extremely important to me. Um, just because I have been in houses that, you know, there's been... I haven't been in a house where there has been a rodent infestation type thing. But I have been in houses where they have had roaches. And trust me, that stuff is traumatizing and... You just think about, you know, that. And so I like to keep my counters clean so, you know, you just don't know, you know. And sometimes maybe your house is clean and something, you know, bug tends to get in or spider. But if your house is clean, you can see those things. But if you if it's not, then, you know, you allow kind of the situation to worsen. And that's just where my mind's at. So that's why it's important for me. Wash dishes and put them away. It's just in the back of my mind. you got to be careful. Okay. Laundry and putting it away also just to prevent just clothes being all over the house you know on my uh coffee table on top of it in the laundry basket in the bedroom you know and then it gets mixed up you don't know what's clean what's not just get that all out of the way and lessen the clutter and then also something that i was struggling with and am struggling with and i need to work on is um prepping my lunch and I'm not sure if I mentioned this but I think I did but um what has been difficult for me was when I was working from home I could just meal prep my protein and put it all in a container prep my vegetables put it on a container excuse me and because I came I worked from home I could just get up from my chair and just scoop out whatever I needed onto a plate and heat it but now it's just additional steps that I have to do at night and I'm just really not trying to do that 
So I need to um, prep my lunch on Sundays into separate containers like my husband does and how I used to and just have that ready for the week. So when I'm prepping my lunch in the evening, this is literally just me just putting that container into that lunch bag and putting all the fluids that I need to drink that day, like my water bottles, um, any sparkling water and have that in the fridge. So all I need to do is take it out. Literally, I don't even have to second guess if I have snacks or anything like that um, in my bag that's all ready to go. So prep my lunch and also my work bag. Again, that way I'm not scrambling around the house. Where are my keys? Where are my glasses? Where's my wallet? Where's, you know, my planner? Where's my pins? Where's my work keys? All these things just organized. So in the morning, I already have, a, you know, things that I need and want and are priority to me. I don't have to worry about these things that I could have organized myself to do and, you know, lesson additional things I have to do that morning. Okay, and my work bag. I'm not gonna put here because I'm running out of space, but I also like to set, actually I will, I guess I'll put it down here just like as a reminder, but um, I like to set my clothes out for the morning as well. So I know I'm gonna work out in the morning. I, I, in the bathroom, I put my sweater, my leggings, my socks, everything I'm gonna wear already in the bathroom. So I wake up, I normally, the first thing I do, wake up, use the restroom. I'm already in the restroom, just go ahead and change. So I do put my clothes out. But um, another thing, or the last thing before or after that is my night prayers and my bedtime. And I would like this to be at 7.30. Oops. So start my prayers at 7.30 and then start, you know, going to sleep by 8 o'clock. Really important. And I'm just going to put right here. Set work and workout clothes. Set workout, set workout, work and workout clothes. I don't even know if that makes sense. Is that an English sentence? <laughs> set, oh, I, put a, I should have put, put, set workout, work and workout clothes. I'll just put like on dresser. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so we're all set up. We will see how this goes. Again, I won't start it until, well, I guess this upcoming Sunday. So the following Sunday, I will update you guys on how this is going because this is great accountability for me as well to meet my goals. And, <laughs> and if something's not working, we can go ahead and adjust it. But anyways, friends... I am going to let you guys go. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening, day, week. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Can I be around you? What